Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing every villain sensei rank from Imaginators ranked. Like every villain remake, I have all of them right here. Well, not all of them, I'm missing three. Uh, yeah, three. Um, Bad Juju Pinata and Hoodsicle. I'm also missing Wolfgang, but it's Ellie, so. Yeah, um, coming in at number 10, I'm going to get through this straight away because I only have 15 minutes to record this, is Golden Queen. Golden Queen is a lackluster character. Who, her moveset is lame, and that's pretty much it. She is shiny, so. But that's seriously it. And she is not that creative. I mean, she's a starter pack Skylander, so it makes sense. Number nine is Bad Juju. I don't have enough experience um, for Bad Juju because I don't really have her. So, I don't really know, like, how to use her properly. So, yeah, I'm just going to move on to number eight. Don't dislike this, unless if you like this character. I mean, unless if you d dislike this character just like me. Well, I don't dislike Wolfgang, but um, I don't like him, though, as much. But, uh, yeah, Wolfgang's pretty cool. His bow and arrow is good for far range, although it does very little damage. Um, his, I have a loose tooth, that's why, and it's about to fall out. Um, but yeah, his, uh, slide ability ain't that great. Um, and then his speaker ability is not that good. Um, his soul gem is great though, which is why he's past the, the other two, but not that great. Number seven is Hoodsicle. I don't have that much experience with Hoodsicle as well because I don't have him. That's kind of why he's at number 7 on the spot. The only reason why I think he's better than Wolfgang and Golden Queen is because he's a cooler and more creative character. And stronger. Because what I've seen of him. Number 6 is Chompy Mage. Although I only have his Jingle Bell variant. Um... Trompy Mage is an okay character. Sky. Sky actor. <laughs> um. Um. His Jingle Bell variant is amazing. Which is kind of why he's up here. And also how strong he is. He tears through chaos. Night. To, through hard mode super chaos and imaginators. So, uh, yeah. And his chompy, and his chompies are very strong, too. Especially when they explode and the, the shrubs spawn and they explode on enemies. Perfect. That's only if you get the bottom path. I recommend the bottom path. Number five is Pinata. I don't have Pinata, so, um, I don't really have anything to describe about him. The only reason why I think he's better is because what I've seen on YouTube, and he has a better design than all of the other villains. That I've already mentioned. Halfway through the list already. Wow. Number four. Grave Clover. Grave Clover's amazing. His punch attacks are great for close range. His dragon ge geezer isn't as good. And his belly flop could, could use some work. His combos, though, are something to write home about. When he goes on top of his... um. Like the thing, and then he jumps off of it. Lucha libre. <laughs> um, and then, uh, like the other combo, I forget like what it's called, but like when he grabs it <laughs> backwards. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Griff Club is pretty good, and his soul gem is pretty good. But, if you're in a Sky Chi in, in a bad spot, then you're gonna have a terrible time. Number three is my most mastered character from my master lock, Taekwon Crow. Taekwon Crow is very strong. His shur shurikens, shuriken, are great for far range, and if you go for the top path, they they have a way higher, ugh, a better use. Um, 
the uh, his flame kick could use some work, but once you throw the shurikens into it and they catch fire, pretty good. Um, and then when he spawns the buzzer beak and his big boy, <laughs> that does pretty good damage. And then his sky chi isn't that much to write home about. So, uh, yeah. Number two is Blastertron. Um, Blastertron is an amazing mix of speed, strength, and that's it. <laughs> um, his laser sword is a creative weapon. Um, but... But the, la the lasers that it shoots out doesn't do as much damage. But since you can do double damage with the actual laser sword and the, like, lasers, that makes it really good. Um, his shield thingy is probably why he's, like, number two and not number one. Um, his, uh... And then finally, when he shoots his jetpack out, that's not that good. And then his Sky Chi isn't that great. Basically, the only thing that's really good about him is his design, definitely. And, um, Laser Sword. So, uh, yeah. But since he's, like, a powerhouse overall compared to everybody else on this list, that's why he's number two. Number one is the man, the myth, the legend himself, Dr. Crankcase. Well, it's me. Um, his goo guns are amazing for far range, especially if you go with a top path. His goo blobs get bigger. That makes him very strong and great against um, Super Chaos on hard mode. His spin attack I use all the time for sometimes speed running and just to get small enemies. Um, his hat bots are not the greatest, but they do do pretty good damage, especially since you can throw down at least six at a time, I think. I don't know. But, um, yeah. That was my ranking of every single villain remake from Imagineer, so see you next time.